Hello again. Now, the Rugby League World Cup is set to start in just three weeks' time in England, and it's got men's, women's and wheelchair rugby competitions all being held at exactly the same time. That was supposed to be held last year, but of course was delayed because of the pandemic. Uh, but we are joined now by rugby legend Martin Offia. Good evening to you. Such a pleasure Lovely to have you to in the studio. Well, thanks for having me. And how exciting is it that Rugby League uh, World Cup is happening yes. here in England it, just in a few weeks? It's the Rugby League World Cup 2021, which is confusingly <laughs> taking place in you October 2022. Now, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's been a fantastic year of sport with the Commonwealth Games, obviously uh, the rugby union team winning down under in the test match against Australia, obviously the Lionesses. Um, so for rugby league, you know, to, to mm. fit in at this time, it's a fantastic opportunity, as you mentioned, with all three sports never been done before. So rugby league, you know, burning the trail and it's fantastic. And, you know, the... Uh, the National Lottery are partners of the competition, but uh, uh, I've been highlighting a lot of the work that uh, the National Lottery have been doing in grassroots sport over the years since 1994. I couldn't believe that the National Lottery have invested 5.7 billion in wow. gra grassroots sports. That's wow. all the lives mm -hmm. that they've helped to change, giving them funding, funding which I didn't have when I had to figure yeah. it out when I, I was coming up. I want up. to ask you about sort of coming through, because many people know that you're from Hackney and played yeah. what traditionally is seen as a, a northern sport yeah. in rugby league. Do you think that that, that sort of landscape has changed and what are you seeing that that change looking like? I mean, yeah, the perception is it, it's a northern dominated sport. Yet again, the most recognisable figure was born in Hackney <laughs> and has a statue outside Wembley. So go figure. <laughs> but, um, you know, some, we're, they're trying to change perceptions mm. of, of the sport, you know, with the wheelchair. Uh, we're trying to get people involved in the game. As I say, with so much being uh, shown on the BBC over the coming months, you know. Say you're that, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to be under a rock to Sorry, avoid it. We've got links. Don't worry. But it, <laughs> it's, a, it's an opportunity, and opportunity doesn't mean you know everything. But I have to take that opportunity. Mm. You know, we like winners in this country, so no pressure <laughs> on, on all the players playing. But you know, go out there and do England proud. But you, you're doing it today. Even you were out in Brixton. I was with out with the Brixton Balls, Brixton balls at grassroots. Next, next generation. Yeah, encouraging them out there with Jodie Cunningham, uh, one of the the women players and Tom Halliwell, one of the wheelchair players. So, yeah, just trying to show a united front and really, you know, that's what it's about. It's about building legacy, trying to encourage, you know, young girls and people, you know, in, in wheelchairs who, who might not think that, you know, top level sport is for them. And for those who, who might come to this fresh and watch it, like you say, on terrestrial TV for the first time, as well as England, the big nations, traditionally it's Australia, yeah. New Zealand, who else should we be looking uh, at? Tonga, for? Fiji, Samoa, a lot of it is dominated by, you know, the NRL, which mm -hmm. is the major Southern Hemisphere Rugby League competition. But, you know, it's a, a Rugby League World Cup on home soil. So I'm back in England. I was fortunate enough to play <laughs> in a World Cup final back in 1995, which is a long time. And if they had VAR, we would have won. <laughs> That comes to me. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go, Martin. Martin. I was not in touch. <laughs> I think you've done all right, Martin. Yeah. You don't even need it. You've done incredibly well. It's such a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thanks very much. Love your passion yeah. as well. Great. I'm up for it now. <laughs>